What's up? I'm back and I'm actually super excited right now because it's time for another build. I uh, this one is actually my the weapon I made, so obviously super hyped about this. I got it doing some crazy numbers. I actually made two builds. Uh, this is gonna be super the end game one though. But as you can see, the damage is ridiculous and the skills it has super comfy. But there's two builds once again. I wanted to make one with the Rathalos, the Rathalos, the Diablos, because it has more raw, of course. But uh, this one works pretty well in air on the floor. The other one is only on the ground, so keep that in mind. The damage output will be stronger. However, you will not be able to have as much freedom. So keep that in mind. But yeah, yeah, super excited. Finally, it's time to use the weapon I actually main. But uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, we're opting to using the Nargakuga one because they've literally cracked Nargakuga out for this game. I don't know what it is. 40% infinity on a weapon is kind of wild. But uh, we're using the Velstrax Helm because it gives us weakness exploit and one Dragon Heart, which is just something on top. And then we're using Vike for slottage, obviously. Valstrax for the rest of the uh, weakness exploit, just for that bonus. We just need that for 50%. Then, once again, Chrome for slottage. And I opted into using the Regenic Pants for the double critical boost, obviously. Now, this build kind of sucks. Because I, I, I was lucky enough to get a Razor Sharp 2 jewel with a 2 slot. So it's basically Razor Sharp 3. I just put it on, it's on. To save as much white sharpness as possible. It's just so that you don't have to do it. Obviously, you can easily sacrifice some of your skills to have razor sharp in here or just have a jewel that has similar stuff like this. It's, it's just a personal thing. I like to have the white sharpness up at all times. So that's why I also have uh, grinder jewels in all of these. But yeah, with this build, you get 100% infinity, super comfy. You can play in the air or the ground. And uh, yeah, super good build. This is the one I recommend. The next one is you have to adopt a completely new pay style. However, the damage is greater. So uh, do with that information as you will. It's going to get kind of confusing. So you do much, much more damage with this build. Uh, your raw is much higher. However, to use it, to get it 100% crit, you need to be full stamina. So every time it uses, it uses maximum might, if you're that. that's like the actual skill. So it, it is stronger. It will do much more damage, uh, almost 190-ish, per like the big hit. However, you sacrifice a lot of mobility. Mo yeah, I can speak English. Do not worry. <laughs> uh, but as for the actual like the build, you'd be often using Kaiser Crown, Vike, Valstrax, Chrome, and Bishotin. Now the reason I'm using Bishotin is because it gives maximum might. Uh, I know it sounds weird, but just let me cook, okay? It does work, so you get the Bishotin for the maximum might. You only need two levels to have 100% crit. So, let me show you, actually. It's much easier to... <laughs> but you, like I said, you will be doing much more damage. However, you will lose, of course, the mobility and stuff. You have to adopt a new playstyle, which some people can do, some people can't. Now we get to the level 7 critical eye for that sexy 40% bonus affinity. And then we have a weakness exploit for the 50, that which leaves us at 80, so the bonus maximum might, for this case, is another 20%, will max out our affinity, give us 100% crit no matter what, as long as we're hitting the weak points. Now we sacrifice one critical boost for this. Now it's not as bad as it sounds, 5% damage is not that much. It, well, it's more obviously, but like I said, it's not that much in the grand scheme of things. But uh, yeah, it does out damage the first build. However, like I said, you will have to play on the floor, much more like a world play style, where you'll have to have, like obviously, you have to stay on the ground more, which kind of sucks because I like playing in the air. That's why I've kind of opted into not using this one. But this one out damages the other one tenfold, not even by a little bit. It's a lot more. But yeah. That's the two builds. Uh, if you enjoyed these build videos, I will be making more. Like I said, these are both endgame builds. Just wanted to reiterate that. If you think you can make them better, comment down below. Tell me what I'm missing. More builds like these, hit that subscribe button. I'm not done yet. I'm making more. Uh, the next builds I think I want to do go into next is Greatsword or Blue Blades or Hunting Horn. One of the two. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.